Hi. Okay. Well, I is that of Craig. Or at least I'm willing to go all by that in this perceptional viewpoint of what it can be. In this video, I want to talk about, dabble a little bit, deepen, and express that of what is imagination to that what of a dream. For, to my perspective, they are the same. For, let me read from my website. Um, so imagination and dreams are one and the same. Just imagination is what brings it forth from one place slash dimension to that of what is the showcasing to that of the shower equals the unseen to the seen. As dreams are the path, path one can take to be able to use the imagination to assist in the viewpoint of the pre preferable perception. So, what that means is that within one using one, you using both. The imagination also is is a tool that assists in understanding what needs to be presented, such as step one to step two to step two to step three to step four from step three to five. Um, basically, it's like you, after getting shown something, you show that to the same person to um, see if you can recall what you just got shown. But I also want to say in the same sense that that with you showcasing that what you just learned, you're also using the imagination to bring forth that of what you see, what you understand. I also was walking along with my friend tonight, and um, he brought up, um, so what magical creature, what animal would you, if, if any, would you have? And I, I jokingly said, a leprechaun. And um, he was like, okay, well, well, what creature would you have? And I said the phoenix. And then I was like, well, why would I have the phoenix? Even though you weren't going to ask that, what would be, why, why would I have the phoenix? It would be because of, um, it doesn't have a middle and it doesn't have an end. It doesn't have a beginning and it doesn't have an end. It only has a beginning. It doesn't have a beginning, and it doesn't have an end. It only has a middle. <laughs> Plus, being that it only has a middle, it would exist before my existence of this perception of the viewpoint that I, that I am right now, um, that it would be able to be one of the best storytellers out there because it has such in-depth understanding of what imagination is to that of a dream. Um, what my friend said was he would want a dragon and then I was like, what kind of dragon? He was like, I don't know. I'm not sure, but I know I put four of them together. But then he didn't really say what he had, what they were, because he was concentrating on having to go to the bathroom and not go to the bathroom. Because um, we were walking, right? Um, also, what a dream is, being that you use your imagination, that you are a creator, that you use the dream can be from forth of a meditational perspective or that of basically this is a dream you're using your imagination to showcase what you understand of what it is of your perceptional viewpoint 
Um, that's pretty much what I had to say. I mean, I know I kind of combined the videos what I wanted to say. Uh, ha, ha. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say and what I have to say about that. Um, so think about it. And also, um, love, light, understanding, expansion, prosperity, acceptance, forgiveness, self-worth. Michael, Gabriel, Orion, bless me, bless you. Mills, guys.